Thieving, child molesters, and school bus stops, two things that should not mix. But it's happening in Albuquerque, and APS didn't know about it until News 13 told them. News 13, Selena Westervelt is live in Ventana Ranch on the west side with the story. So Jessica and Dean, um, this bus stop shuffles students to Volcano Vista High School, but on the other side of that wall is a sex offender's front yard. Bus after bus after bus files into Volcano Vista High School, one of them headed for this neighborhood just west of Irving and Rainbow. But APS had no idea a registered sex offender lives right next to the bus stop, something that terrifies both parents and students. I think it's ridiculous. Uh, it's one of the main reasons my kids don't ride the bus. Alyssa rides the bus every day and was shocked to learn this man, 49-year-old Craig Dixon, is right next door to the stop. Dixon was convicted on two counts of child molestation in Albuquerque in 2001. Does that scare you? Yeah, because I've actually had a sex offender in one of my neighborhoods before and it just made me feel really uncomfortable. It's a feeling parents share. I feel really, really bad for these kids that walk by themselves because you don't know. No, you, you don't, don't know. know. The bus stop didn't raise any red flags for APS because technically it's on Irving, not on Condor Dixon Street. APS says it doesn't look at a map of registered sex offenders when it maps out its bus stops, but the district simply moves the stop once there's a problem. If you're moving it to the next say neighborhood or regulating it a little bit different than a block or two that doesn't do anything. And students who walk past Dixon's house every day without a second thought echo that. I think it's an okay situation but I mean the sex offender is still there so even if you're a block away it doesn't stop him from or her from finding you. <laughs> Now, APS does plan to move the bus stop, but says it could take a while because they'll have to inform all the parents and students first, and they aren't sure how far they're going to move it. APS did say it hasn't had any problems with Dixon. Back to you. Okay, Selena, the school district says it usually deals with this issue about twice a year. The stop sign on Irving only serves high school students.